Have you ever heard about sorrel pancake syrup? Locally made right here in Trinidad and Tobago and it goes best with waffles. And not just any waffles, eh? But Christmas waffles. Like chicken pastel waffle. From DJ Waffles. Also, we're trying some sorrel barbecue from Ara Catering and some, you know, ginger bear wings from Teapot Catering in this one. Woo! What's up, my Trin Bagel vibe peeps? Welcome to another edition of Trin Bagel Vibes. Well, you know, this is the season. Well, not really the season right now. We're in the fasting season, but apart from that, for my Hindu brothers and sisters out there who is fasting for like Diwali, they just come off of Naratam and everything. Yeah. But right after that is the Christmas season. Or oh, for some of you, the Christmas season probably all starts all now, I should say. Yeah. So normally when we go to events, right? To especially around Christmas time and stuff, and I showcase what people have and what an event is like. Basically, the event would have passed already. So is in a sense, if somebody like yourself wanted to enjoy it, you would have to wait till the following year. Unless it continues, like on our weekend, every weekend they have something like on this. Yeah. But in this one, in this one, right, a partner of mine's reached out and he's like, hey, he having this party, a Christmas party, a Christmas lime in Soundforge, that's up in town. I'll show you how to get there a little bit later in this video. Yeah, all information to get tickets and everything will be left in the description below for that. But the main point is he invited me to come and taste some of the food that they are going to have at this event called Sokariba Food and Cocktail Inclusive on November 26th from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. So now that you know about the event, Sokariba, let's jump into the food. Yeah, because this looking delicious. Let me all show you all this black cake waffles. Ooh, look at this cross section already. This is a waffle. This looking like a stuffed waffle, is it? And according to DJ Waffles, the pancake syrup, the sorrel pancake syrup goes best with this, right? So let me crack that now and try it. And I heard you could get this at most supermarkets, so you can look out for this as well. Locally made, support local, you know? By the way, disclaimer, your appetite for waffles may increase moving forward in this one. So just a heads up, cause look at this beauty. Black cake waffle with sorrel pancake syrup. I'm gonna be honest with you all. I'm not feeling like I'm eating a waffle. I actually feel like eating a black cake. That's where I win. This is a real tea Because you'll see this and you think waffles. I mean, it has that nice little crunch on the outside. Slight crunch, but it's so in the middle. The sweetness comes through with the black cake itself. The nice thing about this though, with the syrup, they're not overly sweet, which is perfect. It's just the right amount of sweetness included in this. And you get all those nice feels that you would expect around Christmas time. And that's the main thing, just winning for sure. And we don't start off good already, wow. Let's go in All right, so just to, you know, clarify things. This event is Christmas themed food, and it'll have some parang, but it's also a tribute to the carnival, to the soaker. Because you know, right after Christmas, it's carnival, right? That is just how the season is go, and that is how the season is flow. And this brings, like, basically two worlds together at this event. So, yeah, so it's kind of like a fact, but it have Christmas themed food. So, check that. All right, let's move on to the apple cinnamon waffle. DJ waffles, eh? I just wanna try this without any syrup because why not? You're getting some slight apple in tasting this and cinnamon. For me, right now, the black cake waffle winning at the moment. This one is also nice because it's soft, it's not too overly sweet, and it's just delicious. So sticking with the waffle team, we're moving on to pumpkin spice. You know, this the season for this kind of thing. I don't know how pumpkin spice became popular. Probably, you know, happened in the States or whatnot. And you know, here in Trinidad and Tobago, we tend to kind of follow suit. So this is a very interesting one. Pumpkin spice waffle. Mm. Yeah, this one, that pumpkin spice coming through. I won't lie to you all, by the time you finish the waffles by itself, 
it's basically you get a whole waffle and you may be full <laughs> i've been honest with y'all because this tastes real, real good like i'm not too much of a fan of pumpkin spice especially in drinks and stuff but like this is so delicious that you just want to continue eating this dread this one chicken pastel waffle i have to give dj waffles credit because like these combinations amazing i would never think somebody would put chicken pastel in a waffle but let me see if it is taste like you know the chicken pastel mm-hmm <laughs> this went too this rowing this rowing before i even taste this right the smell that comes through from the waffle itself it done in your mind you already know you're going to eat pastel and it's that chicken pastel and it's amazing like if i close my eyes and i eat in this i would never think this is a waffle trust me this lashing the chicken it is seasoned well the little you know elements of pastel comes true and like i thought the black cake was winning for me but i don't know this, this one i like a chicken pastel and this tastes real, real good all right now we're gonna try pastelry now this is the actual pastel we are going to have right we just had the chicken pastel waffle amazing and now we're gonna actually have you know full-fledged pastel you know how you do it always wrap in some foil yeah 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 they already have the, the fig leaf slash banana leaf this is the real the real thing this is how you have to do it you no know, i have learned when you're eating pastel or when you're trying pastel try and hit it from the center so that way you'll get a good bit of the feeling just to taste but this is so fun nice as well so i might you know how to hopefully look at that people this already smells amazing wow the filling the chicken pastel to cornmeal ratio perfect right amount mm. this one mm. trust me this is a very best pastel last time i had a good pastel like this was up in parman for when they had the param and that was one of the local things there this tastes just as good if not better the meat the filling is seasoned well it is nice it the texture itself is soft it melts in your mouth everything just balances so well on your palate this amazing amazing pasta red after i finish i mean we still have some meat to go i feel like we need a food coma after this you know all right, let's move on to the meat because I'm looking forward to the ginger bear wings and of course the sorrel barbecue pork. Can't go wrong with any of this at all. Wow. Ooh, yeah, this, like, it, it comes with this sauce, right? And this sauce, you're already smelling the ginger bear. You're getting that ginger bear smell already. I like high ginger flavor from the sauce itself. Now let's try, you know, one of the wings. Let's go to dip it here and try this. I was looking forward to this. When, when it is, I've heard they had ginger bear wings. I was like, that's something interesting. And I couldn't wait to try this. So let's see. The ginger bear gives the wing a nice, almost sweetish flavor profile. The wing itself is good, it's seasoned properly, but to a degree, the ginger aspect is light. Ooh, now we move it on, you know, to the sorrel barbecue pork from Ara Catering. Our barbecue flavor, very nice. Mm. The pork is seasoned well. Get a slight sorrel, not too much. 
you definitely get that barbecue flavor. Right, that was some amazing food. Right now we're on the Mokrapa Road right here in town and we are going to, I think it's Christopher Samuel Drive. That's where Song Forge is. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you how to get to Song Forge, you know? So just to recap, right? Don't mind, <laughs> you know, the weather up here change up a little bit. But just to recap, that food that you'll get at Sokariba was amazing. It is right here. We are turning. See Christopher Samuel Drive, and at the end of the street is Sound Forge. Now those waffles, that black cake waffle, and hey, you know that chicken pasta waffle, mwah, win. The next ones, the next, the apple cinnamon. Oh yeah, the other rough here. The apple cinnamon and the the pumpkin spice. They were good. I mean. The, some of the flavors was a little more subtle. What surprised me was the ginger bear wings. No, the wings by itself was delicious. And like, after you eat the wings, you get, like if you had that ginger bear taste in your mouth, like it had a delay in it, but with the sauce, mm, you give it more ginger flavor. And that pork, that barbecue pork, mm, it was scrumptious. Yeah, that win. And all this you can get at this event on November 26th, Soka River. Like I said, it's the first time I get to, you know, try these food at this inclusive event, you know? And it's pretty cool because I gave some suggestions, like with some of the subtle flavor, the nice thing is the event organizers took note of this and they said they'll let their caterers know so that they'll get a more perfect taste than what I've experienced. And we see we just passed, this is our star lit panyard. And at the end here, at the end here is Song Forge. Yep. Right next to the city corporation, you'll see the Hazley Crawford Stadium sign there. Yes. So I'll leave a link to the party in the description below where you can purchase tickets hopefully you get some early bird tickets yeah so that is Sokariba November 26th from 4 p.m. so hope to see you there and hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you all in the next one I'll go on later that was some real good food though wow <laughs>